Hi, John here, Microasis Workshop. Uh, welcome once again to a, uh, a Microasis uh, Sop with Camel build. Um, this is part 10 uh, of, the, uh, of the build itself. Uh, we have got this far, so far. Um, we have the, uh, the fuselage and lower wings on. We've got the, uh, the machine gun, a bit of rigging. We have the undercarriage on as well. Uh, bar the uh, the actual wheels themselves, and um, yeah, we've got the uh, the cabane struts on too. So the next step, according to the assembly guide, which I have here, stage ten struts. So we're literally creating the uh, the interplane struts. Um, it's a pretty simple technique. Uh, it's pretty much exactly the same as the uh, uh, the Cobain struts. Uh, I've cut out all of the parts that we need, that I can, um, so you don't have to uh, to watch me do that laborious process. Well, it's not laborious. Um, if you're building the, uh, the aircraft, it's just uh, a little repetitive to have to just watch. Um, so, as is building the struts, so once again, I'll, uh, I'll go through the technique um, and then whilst I complete, I'll pause the video and uh, we'll skip ahead to, uh, to the next step uh, using the special time machine that we have here. So, just applied some glue to one of the pieces of carbon fibre. Um, each piece of carbon fibre uh, is 53 millimetres long. Um, for uh, for this arrangement, and obviously we've got four, one for each of the uh, struts themselves, and I've just applied the piece to the strut, um, avoiding uh, the there are there are several holes as you'll see cut into the um, plastic, and those are for rigging. Obviously, we don't want, to, uh, don't want to put a piece of carbon fibre over the hole. Or we'll never get the rigging tool through, and therefore it will make the whole process of rigging pretty difficult. And this isn't an uh, unsophisticated build, so I shall say. So uh, we don't want to give ourselves any unnecessary heartache. So there we go. Right, I'll get the uh, the other two done, and uh, we'll uh, we'll go from there. There we go. Carbon fiber on. Uh, next step is obviously the, uh, the the stickers themselves. So. On our P26 plus carbon fiber, that, that's our P27 plus carbon fiber. On our P26, we need S35 and S34. So let's grab. Once again, there are some cutouts in these to. Uh, Clear the uh, the rigging holes. Um, I'm just going to leave them in, and I'll I'll push them out when I come to uh, to do the rigging. Hopefully that'll uh, that'll help. Right. So I have just grabbed S34. And S34 goes on the forward facing. Uh, so it goes that way up. And let's use the old, uh, the old tweezer trick. So position that to the lower end, bang on where I want it. And let's go Work my way up. And turn over, see what we've got. Okay, it looks like I've got a little bit of white edge at the front there. So I haven't pushed this down hard yet, so we should be able to. 
block it off and settle it back a little bit better there i think that's uh, that's as i want it so i'm just going to smooth that onto the carbon fiber just a quick check and then use the back of my knife just to push that sticker into place against the uh, the carbon fiber like so and then the other side too go and uh, yep that's perfectly aligned so i haven't got any white bits sticking out over the edge fantastic right okay on to s35 so s35 that's going to go up like so. Okay, let's repeat the process. I think that should all go down nicely now. Just push, push it down onto the carbon fiber, and then run our sticker into into the groove. That all looks pretty good. We've got a little bit of exposure at the top here, but um, that should. I'll just use the knife. I'm not cutting it off. I'm just getting it to fold over onto the uh, onto the edge. So it seems to get rid of most of it. Excellent. Good. Whilst we're here, I'll just see. We can push out these bits. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. Let's push that out of the way. And then just remove it with the tweezers. Perfect. Right, I'll continue doing that, and I'll be back with you once it's uh, once it's done. So there we go. I put uh, put all the stickers on. As you can see, I've also removed those uh, those little bits from top and bottom, the little cutouts that uh, allow the the rigging to pass through. Um, now, what we need to do is uh, we can place these into the slots on the uh, on the wing itself so he said carefully and gingerly going about it i think we'll try heel first Mm. Now, once they're in, they're in. There we go. But we're not going to glue them just yet. Um, we're going to wait until we've got the rigging in and the uh, the top wing on until they are uh, firmly glued in place. This allows us to get the geometry right for the uh, for the aircraft. Um, so, uh, 
That's why we don't glue them. Right, let's just slot this in as well. There we go. So, that's all looking good. So we can leave them like that. And the last part of this particular process is to add our little uh, our little um, fuel pump prop. Now, when it's supplied to you, you'll find it on this, or normally find it on this little sprue that it's actually been printed on in the, uh, the 3D resin printer. Um, now, you can literally just wiggle it off. You can see how small those, um, those supports are. Uh, so it should just wiggle off. Um, so that's that's the piece you can ditch and you can actually just take off if you put some little uh, nobbles left on there from the um, from the sprue you can just take that off using the file let's use the less aggressive side there we go now the idea is this little um, this little spinner will actually spin on the uh, on the shaft that we've installed on the uh, on the Cobain strut. Um, but before we do that, I'm going to just color this up, um, and I'm going to do it with a a brown sharpie. Um, I don't have it on the desk, so I'm just going to go and grab it, and uh, I'll uh, I'll pause you while I do. Well, I did have a brown sharpie. <laughs> I don't know where it's gone. Oh, well. Um, we'll install the prop anyway. I can always decorate it while it's uh, while it's on there. But obviously now is the best time to do it. A felt tip of sharpie. The, um, the material that this is made of um, absorbs those, uh, those types of uh, colouring systems very well. So... Uh, so what we're going to do, literally just put this onto the spindle. Actually, I think I'll use my uh, my tweezers for that. <gasps> that was close. That was very close. Right. Let's get this into a position that makes it easy. Just pop that. There we go. So it should freely rotate. And now for the now for the hard bit. Um, on the plastic sprues, there are a couple. You only need to use one. There are a couple of very tiny little retaining washers. You should be able to see just there. I think in the um they're called P33 in the um, in the uh, the assembly guide, but they actually haven't got any numbers on. But that's that's them there, and you just need the one. Obviously, if I try and just chop one off, it's going to ping away. So I'm going to grab it and stab it. So I now have that on the end of my knife. Probably a little too well on the end of my knife. The idea is that that then goes on to there. And then I'm going to pop a blob of glue on the end. Sorry, you can't see that. Pop it on the end of the okay. Sorry, on the uh, on the end of the prop shaft. 
and then just move that little washer up into the glue. So it gets some of that glue on its surface. And that should hold the problem in place. He says, hopefully. And what I probably do. We've got a little bit too much prop shaft there. So I'm actually going to, a little bit heavy handed here, take the prop off. Remove the washer, that's somewhere safe. There we go. And get my pliers, wherever they are. There we are. Let's see if I can trim a little bit, a little bit off there. There we go. Right, let's try that again. Up on the prop. Sorry, once again, I'm just uh, I'm hiding this from you. goes the prop. Okay, and then on with the washer. Just make it visual on this. Use those tweezers as needle nosed as they are. So it's because that has not got free movement. There seems to have been some glue that's got into the whole system. So Yeah, it seems it seems to have been uh, right. Let's just see if we can clean off. I don't want to uh I don't want to add lighter fluid here because it's probably going to seep into the uh, the joints of all the other bits underneath it. Prop on again. No, it doesn't feel right. It does not feel right. Bear with me a second. So it uh, it turned out that the uh, the reason the um, the prop was sticking was that the the hole in the uh, the prop itself was just a little bit too tight. All I did was uh, I pushed the prop onto the um the control wire that i cut the uh the little um the little uh prop shaft from um and just ran that through the hole a few times and that's really <laughs> you can see that's freed it up so um i've put the washer on top i haven't actually added any glue yet so i'm just going to put a little dollop of glue on that so it'll hold it on the um on the prop shaft and obviously shield the prop itself from the glue so
Hmm. Okay. Lost its freedom of movement again. Oh, I can see why. We've got a little bit of the stringy glue. <laughs> Still causing a problem. Okay. There's a bit of, there's a, I can see a little string of glue. I can see why people don't like you here when this happens. <laughs> we'll let that dry off because once it's dry, it'll, uh, it'll fall off. So uh, we'll let that dry and, uh, and that seems to, oh, that's going around nice now. There we go. So fantastic. That's better. Good. Okay. Well. After uh, after that little bit of uh, shenanigans, we finally got uh, stage 10 done. Um, I hope that was useful for you. Um, as you saw there, if you have any problems with your, uh, your prop, um, run, the, uh, run the control rod through it just to, uh, to wear it a little bit so it, uh, it opens up. Um, and uh, and go from there so um so yeah we've got we've got our struts in um and i think the next step we take is to uh, to get everything uh, everything rigged so all the rigging goes on and uh, not as difficult as uh, as you imagine hopefully i can uh, demonstrate that without running into too many difficulties um so uh, but uh, but for now i hope that uh, particular video is useful for you uh, thank you very much for watching and i shall see you in the next episode thank you very much for watching mm -hmm.